As the winter months grow colder, we decided to go out and discover some solutions to survive the frigid winter months in Bloomington. Those who are not fortunate enough to live in houses. As we set out to find firsthand the struggle these men and women go through, we were lucky enough to interview one willing individual and see how he gets by in the frigid Indiana weather. Um, what do you do, especially during the really cold months of winter? How do you keep going? I'm, I'm a survivor, man. Like, uh, just gotta keep warm, man. I don't, I don't talk to nobody and persuade them to give me money. I just sit there with my sign showing, and if they want to give me a little bit of money, so be it, you know, I, and then after I, they give me the money, I tell them, thank you, God bless you, you know, I, hopefully before long I'll have me at home, hopefully, I can't say, because the last five winters I've lived outside. Hopefully I won't live outside this winter. You gotta survive, especially when you're homeless. Because if you don't take care of yourself, ain't nobody else going to. We headed down to the corner of Kirkwood and Grant to find out what Trinity Church is doing to combat the homeless population with the program Interfaith Winter Shelter. Well, the Interfaith Winter Shelter is a coalition of of congregations, uh, different faith communities that have come together to provide a safe, warm place for our homeless brothers and sisters to stay at night. We are open 1st of November through the end of March. And this year we have four sites. Uh, many more congregations are involved. We have 12 to 14 different congregations that are helping in some way, but we have four sites where actually people will sleep. Um, those sites are Trinity Church here, where we are, First United Church out on 3rd Street, First Christian Church on Kirkwood, and then the city um, collaborated with us and provided the jute box, which is a youth center um, next to the 3rd Street Park. We are serving as many people as we can, but we, we anticipate from the numbers this summer and the increase of homeless people, we are not probably gonna be able to cover. Martha's House, Backstreet Mission are full. The, the women's shelter at Middleway House tends to be full. Um, and we're just gonna stretch as much as we can. Located south of town, near the corner of Rogers and Dodds, Martha's Shelter has been providing a warm bed for the homeless for over seven years. We sat down with Bobby Summers to see what her organization does. Okay, I'm Bobby Summers. I'm the executive director of Martha's House. It's an emergency shelter for the homeless in our community. Martha's House in 2002 opened as a not-for-profit operating the homeless shelter. What we are trying to do, our mission is to help make sure we provide a safe shelter while uh, working with the community and individuals to end homelessness. We have right now um, 28 beds, 22 are for men, 6 are for women. A year ago when they were first talking about opening the winter shelter, I felt that anybody who needed the service could come here and there's another shelter, Backstreet Mission, and between the two I felt everyone was housed. In January 2009, we, since January 2009, we have been full at capacity and have been turning people away. Even though I try to help them find shelter, I'm finding my referrals to another shelter that they're also full. So while in the past, I think that the community did have the capacity to address the needs of people in crisis, I, I don't think that we do now we really have to regroup. But there are a lot of people who do not have a shelter to be in, and I, I am concerned about them. Hopefully with more organizations like these, we can get more people in a warm beds and out of the streets.